Hi guys, today I'm working on a Bissell vacuum cleaner. What's happening is the roller uh, doesn't turn, so it's breaking the belts. And this roller has two caps on the end. There's an axle that runs through the center. And the caps are supposed to run, uh, turn freely, but they're, they're locked up. So they're not... Uh, they're not turning that easy. They're not turning like they should. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to repair this. I don't know if I'll be able to fix it, uh, but I'm going to take the caps off and take a look and see what's going on here. To take the caps off, I'm just going to take a hammer and screwdriver. Put my screwdriver to probably on this end. It doesn't really matter. Um, to the axle there and just punch it. Just tap it. Okay, so the cap is able to come off now. You've got uh, ball bearings in here. The axle has uh, some little gears on the end. Pull the other cap off along with the axle. It has ball bearings, a washer. Okay. okay I'm going to go ahead and pull this part out. All right, this cap has a, looks like a little felt. Gasket or seal or something here. I don't really see anything wrong with that. The end is smooth here. See how these ball bearings are. Ball bearings are uh, sealed. They're turning freely like they uh, should. That looks good. Okay, the other end. The other end is really rough here. Then it had the ball bearings. Seat in there. And we have the cap. The cap is really rough on the inside there. So it looks like what has happened is the plastics have fused together is from the friction of turning and it looks like part of the inside of the cap has fused on here see a little lip here maybe see that it looks like it's fused on just to be sure I'm going to try to pry that off but I'm sure pretty sure that's what's going on here All right, so what's going on is 
just pulled this little insert out as you saw and it's supposed to be locked in place and you can see this uh, plastic here from the cap uh, where it is fused on there and by doing that it uh, locks itself on there and becomes one piece. You can see the plastic is fused on there. That would have to come off. Um, meaning this cap is not going to be good anymore. As far as the insert here, with the plastic being fused onto it, it's not going to be good anymore either. So the roller is really uh, useless. I would say that uh, if this in insert here was good, and this plastic wasn't on it, it just came off really easy. The insert would be good and all I would need would be a new uh, cap here. Okay, so the other side had the little felt here. See here, so that keeps the cap from really getting too hot and fusing to that insert. So that's the deal, that's what's going on with my vacuum cleaner here. So if I were to put the insert back into place, okay, and try to, all right, I've got it flush there. See, it's turning okay. The axle is turning. And if I were to take the cap and put it back on, okay, it looks, yeah, it's uh, spinning now and it looks like it may even be fixed. There's no play in here. sealed but what is happening is that it's that rough plastic uh, rubbing against each other and it's only a matter of time before that uh, heats up and uh, seals itself again so uh, I'll put this in the vacuum cleaner and see how it works I'm sure that it's not going to work very long so let's try it out and see Rollers back in place. I'm just going to put the cover on and give it a run here. So you may be able to vacuum the rest of your house, uh, but um, eventually you're going to need a new roller, probably really soon. Um, maybe pick up, uh, buy a new one or new vacuum cleaner even, or maybe go to a thrift store and just pick yourself up a cheap vacuum cleaner or maybe some parts from that. But anyway, uh, the video has been helpful. Uh, until next time, guys, take care. Have a great day.